Right. Hardest problem on the worksheet is probably on the back side of this, number seven. So looking at that problem, we want to find the area and perimeter. Perimeter is not too bad because we know this is a regular polygon. All our problems are. So we know all the sides are going to be congruent. So if one side six, all of them are six. So that part's not too bad. Perimeter equals six times six. So our perimeter of 36 centimeters. So since we have the perimeter already, we should use the formula one half times apothem times perimeter. But our issue is we don't have the apothem. So what we need to do here is try and figure that out. So first step is to create some triangles. We can break this regular polygon up, regular hexagon, six sides, into six congruent triangles. And what we can do to help us out with that, if we draw in our apothem now, it even breaks it up even further. Draw that dotted line in there that's perpendicular. So we're focusing in on this triangle right here to try and find that apothem. So what we need to do is find those interior angles of the polygon. So the way you find interior angles in a regular polygon is a formula that looks like 180 times the number of sides. So we have six sides minus two, 180 times n minus two. So 180 times four, that's 720 degrees. So we know all six angles, one, two, three, four, five, six angles in there add up to 720. Since we know it's a regular polygon, we know that it's equiangular. So if we divide by six, we know each individual angle is 120. So now if we focus in on one of our triangles here, we can get a little closer to our answer. So we knew, let's start fresh. We knew this angle right here was 120. When we draw in our triangle, to try and find that apothem, we're cutting that 120 in half. So what we have is a 60 degree angle. The apothem is perpendicular. So we have 90 and 60 together, that's 150. And looking at that triangle, 180 minus 150. So we have a 30, 60, 90. So what we're really looking at there is a 30, 60, 90, and this whole side is six, but when we draw that apothem in, it's going through the midpoint, so our short leg is three, and we're trying to find the apothem, which is the long leg. So we learned with special right triangles, going from short to long, you multiply by root three. So our apothem is gonna equal three root three. We already have our perimeter, so the final step now is just to plug into our formula. One half times apothem times perimeter. Plug that all into your calculator. And you get an answer of area 93.5 centimeters squared. So if you aren't given the apothem, you can find it by creating a special right triangle in that shape. Uh, but that'll be the toughest one. You'll have some other problems where you have to use those special right triangles, but the diagram will be a little more clear. It'll be drawn in for you, um, and you should be able to figure it out based on this example now. So homework worksheet number five, regular polygons. Um, email me for third or fourth period. You can also email Ms. Matos with questions, and answer key will be posted later tonight.